What's up, sneaker fans? Thanks for tuning in to a more than hype unboxing and review. Today, however, is not going to be a detailed review. Just wanted to show you guys a recent pickup of mine. And speaking of pickups, yesterday was Air Max Day, and I was not able to get the Air Max 90 Bacons on the sneakers app. But just by a miracle, I did actually hit one of the raffles from SNS. So I'm probably one for 500 on raffles. I never win, so it's a little bit suspect that I did win. Uh, retail price or resale price probably is not going to be high on the Bacons. However, as soon as I get them, look out for a detailed review of those. So subscribe to stay notified when that video is up. But today, just a recent pickup of mine, and it is of a Gel Light 3. And right from the box, you can tell that it is not your regular Gel Light 3. This is the 30th anniversary pair. These first released in 1990 and for its 30th anniversary, Asics released a tonal suede pack. There was a cream, gray, and a black pair. I have the gray pair here. So starting with the packaging, there was no stone left unturned here. I'm really impressed with what they did. Starting with the box again, you got the 30th anniversary in this chain logo that we'll see a lot. Some red lines, glossy white box. A6 logo. Taking a look at the size tag, that 30 chain logo is seen again here. So, official name is Gel Light 3 OG. This is the gray colorway. Far as sizing goes, I got an 8.5, and, and I find these do run true to size. So, Air Max 1s, Air Jordan 1s, New Balance 574s, 327s. I wear 8.5 in and all of those. I got that here. And I like the fit. As far as women's sizing goes, A6 is the standard 1.5 sizes up. So on women's, this 8.5 would be a 10. Now, let's take a look at the shoes. But first, take a better look at the box. So, um, when you look at all the thought they put into the design of this box, you can really see how important the Gel i 3 is to A6. I'll just take the shoes out first so I can show you what I'm talking about. So on the paper, first and foremost, that 30th anniversary chain logo is continued. But then inside the box, this is the kind of stuff that I really like to see. So just to begin, a real long message from the original designer and then some of the original design drawings. And when I see stuff like this, I get really excited. It's always amazing to see these drawings really come to life uh, in the form of something tangible. Uh, and that's one thing that I really like about sneakers. So just some really nice details here. You can pause and take a look at that box afterwards. But now let's take a look at the shoes. Now these are super nice, I got to say. So starting from the materials, really buttery suede makes up the whole entire upper. Really super nice. I kind of show you up close, you can see the color changing on that suede as I brush the nap on the toe box. So perforated leather on the toe box, same for these quarter panels here. A gel A3 embroidery looking very nice on the heel. Then A6 gel on the heel here. Only part of this upper that's not suede would be these eyelets here. And that actually matches with your heel counter. Even the inside, sort of your split tongue, is in suede. And this is a part of the gel A3 that turns some people off. It is weird. And I felt that way too when I first saw this silhouette. But it just takes some getting used to, and they are super comfortable because of that split tongue, in my opinion. Now, as far as laces go, you get some really nice flat waxed laces. Uh, just another nice touch. You could tell that they really thought about it. They didn't have to give you waxed laces. Just a little bit more of a high-quality thing. And on the inside, fabric lining in that same color as the suede on the insole. A6 in white, everything grayed out inside. Also on the laces, 
nothing on the aglets. But then this midsole, not sure if they used a different formula for this EVA, but these are much, these feel much softer than any other Gel A3 that I've had. So far as cushioning goes, very comfortable. So really all I can say is build quality, amazing materials, amazing. The price also very affordable in my opinion for what you're getting here. Um, I would highly recommend you get a pair of these. Again, retail was 110, but you can get them on sale right now in most sizes of, I think all three colorways on the A6 website. I'll leave some links in the description for below for people that are interested, but just a really nice silhouette and some really nice materials. And that's about it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sneaker related content. And I'll catch you on the next video.